Just live with it, okay? Set up a good life that the courts will look in favor on. I can't do that until I get Tony's money. Are you sure you want to take this home? Oh, Duke, I can't let her go to strangers. Okay. Just wait to bring up the picture in the paper. Well, it's not that the judge missed it anyway. It's unbelievable. I can't believe this is happening. You should have heard him. He said that both Bobby and Lucy were unfit. I can understand Lucy, but Bobby... Mm. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I don't know how I'm ever going to thank you. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, they're not going to let me take care of BJ. I think you two are perfect. I hope the judge feels the same way. Uh, Mrs. Lavery. <coughs> yes. You aren't in any way related to Dr. Jones or to his first wife, Barbara Jean's mother? Uh, no, no, Your Honor, I'm not. I'm, I'm a good friend of Tony's and I knew his late wife, Tanya. And, um, of course, I've known BJ since she was a baby. Well, this is unusual, but go ahead. Convince me that B.J., as you call her, will be better off with you than in a regular county-certified foster home. I think I'm going to go help Owen fix dinner. Is that difficult? Well, you know, she's really giving me free cooking lessons. Uh-huh. You should taste the French onion soup I make. Mmm, that's my favorite kind. Well, great. Maybe I'll have a French onion soup party once and you'll be invited. Terrific. You'll understand if I have a headache that night. Yeah, well, uh, then um, I'll bring you your soup in bed. Oh, don't even think Oh, come think on, fair enough. It. Think of uh, the ground. And it's just gratitude. I mean, you listen, just sit here and you soothe my rumpled listen, ground, all that listen, sort of thing. Listen, I don't want to argue in front of Robin. Huh? She's a very sweet child. Right. Must have not been raised by you. Yeah, well, but I want to talk about that portrait. Oh, uh, look, here we go again. Listen, I've no, told you. This is still my house. And I have this don't lease forget. which says something about um, uh, possession and custody on said premises. Do you know what premises. it says? It says that as Lisey, that you are responsible for all the furnishings in this house, one of which happens to be that, period. I know, right. Now, here I am under the impression you're trying to protect my privacy. I am! How am I intruding on your privacy? All right, all right, all right. Think about this way. Now, look. How would you feel about undressing in front of some weird-looking bloke hanging off the uh, wall leering at you, huh? Really? Are we so shy? I hardly thought you'd be intimidated by any woman, mm. let alone a picture all right, of a woman. All right, all right, all right. And she isn't leering. What about Mr. My Darling? Huh? How's the guy going to feel when he discovers that you're sharing your child with some strange? I, 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 uh, I told Owen that the answer would be yes, but she wanted me to ask you anyways before she does the rest of dinner. Mm, ask me what? You'll stay for dinner. Oh, I'm afraid I have a meeting to go to. Tell her I'm very sorry. Well, you can eat and then you can go. Mm. This meeting can't wait, I'm afraid. But tell her thank you for the tea, for the cookies, and for the invitation. Okay. Ah, Robert. Mm. Turn my portrait to the wall when I'm not here. And remember, you contracted for this whole house. It includes that. It stays. Don't be surprised if it winds up in the closet. Daddy? Mm. Why are you and Catherine always mad at each other? Oh, no, darling. No, no, you got a little wrong. We're not mad at each other. We just... Uh... We just disagree a little. I mean, it's just that I get a little irritated, you know? Aggravated. Infuriated. Nice painting. Now, um, did your mother call? No, and Owen called before, just before she started cooking. The hearing must be finished by now. Bobby must have won. So you have a daughter. Oh, yes, yes, uh, I do, Your Honor. Um, she's 10 years old. Her name's Robin, and um, that's from my first marriage to Commissioner Scorpio. Mm. How would you describe your relationship with Robin? Oh, with my daughter? Oh, she's brilliant. I mean, um, I, I adore her. Uh, she's, she's lovely. She's a very interesting person, and uh, she's my best friend. And, uh, I mean, I think that most people, 
you know, would say she's she's clever. It's not just me, and, and she's beautiful, I think. <laughs> well, Robin has a fan club, that's for sure. Yeah, I know. I go on about her a bit, I think. Did I read, as part of the unfortunate difficulties you just went through regarding Olivia St. John, in which your name was cleared, that you are expecting another baby? Yes, I was. Um, I was, uh, yeah, I was pregnant and I, I lost the baby because of the elevator accident. Oh, yes, I recall that. Terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was horrible. Well, you certainly are qualified, fine, moral woman, what I know of your reputation and what you present to me here now. But are you aware of the major problem you're facing? What, you bringing the child up? Oh, you know, I, I had to look after Robin on my own a lot of the time, and that, there, there were never very many problems. You said it was horrible losing a baby. It is built into this situation that ultimately you will have to give up custody of Barbara Jean. Whenever that happens, I guarantee you will have fallen in love with her. Yeah, I know I will, yeah. But, um, you know, we all love children. And, and I, it was awful when I lost my baby, but we got over that. I just would really like to give this child a chance to be happy like my daughter and I think that we can do it I, I'm sure we can um, I know about custody you know care and protect I understand that and when the time comes we'll, we'll give her back we'll miss her but we know where she belongs thank you Mrs. Lavery okay. you may step down thank you. The court awards temporary custody of Barbara Jean Jones, a minor child, to Mr. and Mrs. Duke Lavery, under the supervision of the County Division of Social Services. Bobby Meyer, Lucy Jones, this court will not tolerate interference with its orders. Now you can visit BJ with the Lavery family permission. But she may not stay with either of you. Court is adjourned. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you just saved that baby. Oh, and Lucy's not going to get her. No, you come visit BJ anytime you want. I promise you, you're going to see a lot. I think it's going to work out very well for Barbara Jean. I just hope you haven't forgotten what a handful of toddler can be. Oh, I, know. I wish you luck. I'm going to need it. Mrs. Simpson. Oh, okay, Father Jean. Stay with us for a while. Go and stay with Anna. She's going to take care of you for a while. Mm -hmm. You want to stay with us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I know you've got that nice lady living in with you and everything, but you know, everybody needs some time off every now and then, and I've been in taking care of Father Jean for so long now. I think I'm just going to be a wreck without her. Well, if you ever need anybody to come babysit, I'd be happy to. You Absolutely. Come by any time you want. We don't need a babysitter. You just come by whenever you want. <laughs> All right, then I'll do that. Okay. Oh, and I better bring her a little, like, Roger T. Bear Roger and Snug Rag and things like that. I better take You always send something from the club to the yeah. No, that's not necessary. There. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, well, you've got to come by because I need to know everything about this little girl. You want to come home with us now? Can I get you this? I'm going to come back to my house. And you can play with my daughter, too, Robin. Would you like to see Robin? Here, yeah. come on. We've got to go and set up a nursery. Come on, Bye-bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Oh, take a coat. Bye-bye. Here. Bye. 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 Bye.